Yeah, but I never wanted to be in there to say, oh, I've gone the distance with him. I, I wanted to win. I wanted to hate him. I wanted to win. To be fair, I should have put it on him more. I should have pressed the fight, gone forward and put it on him more instead of being looking to try and counter him and go on the back foot. And then a long layoff, told a Garcia fight. And then 16 months out the ring. Like, so that makes a big difference, 16 months out the ring. How long, how was that? How did that affect you mentally? Uh, a lot, a, 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 quite a bit, really. I mean, 16 months out the ring is a hell of a long time to go out the ring. But not only that, is I've got, like, it was 16 months since I made lightweight. You know, my body's naturally probably got bigger and grown and since since making that weight. You know, if you're making that weight and you're bringing the weight back down a couple of times before that, it's not too bad. But just 16 months out of the ring was just a hell of a long time. Like, being being involved, being in the, in the fight frame of mind and, you know, and being involved in fight weeks and having that pressure and the nerves and stuff like that. It was a long time since I, f I felt anything like that. And it was hard for me going up. I went over to America for Christmas, away from my family. V very stressful for me on the inside. Hated it. Hated every second being away from my family over Christmas and things like that. How were you going to, how, you, how did you prepare for that fight then? Knowing that, again, more hate from this young kid who's... Yeah. Potentially, everyone's saying is going to be the next pound for pound best fighter on the planet. Yeah, do you know what? To be fair, I had a lot of loyal fans myself backing me, um, which was good, and I, which I really appreciated. Obviously, he's got a hell of a lot of fans backing him. But yeah, I mean, I got COVID, what, five weeks before the fight, which didn't help. Five or six weeks before the fight, which didn't help. You know, um, I was, and that wiped me out for about 10, 11 days in bed with that um, and then having having that going then straight into a hard training camp hammering my body again not ideal mm -hmm. not ideal there's always been little obstacles that I've had to jump over or or get by in in fights and but you've never camps. turned away from them you've still done them do you know no. what I mean you've still stepped up to the plate like, it doesn't matter what we everything you can learn from is you learn from the fucking losses and the darkness yeah. and the the mistakes. So going into that fight then, and you sparked him, put him on his ass the second round. Were you surprised, or were you thinking I could have knocked him out anyway? Because you seemed. Why did you? There was a, seemed to have been a hesitation when you put him on his ass. Yeah. Why was that? So I, I, I've seen comments say that, um, but let me tell you now, I've never seen someone spring up like him. He was like a jack in the box. He was up on the count of three, and then the second the ref. Had, wiped his gloves and whatever else and he was back in that centre he was all there so there's no there's no chance I'm going to go I'm going to go lunging in and uh, against someone that loves throwing his his uh, left hook for me to walk on I needed to be smart and I and I'm a good finisher and I can I, once I smell blood in the ring and weakness I jump all over that and he was fully back like I've never seen anyone recover uh, and come back so quick from getting knocked down. Why like, do you think that is, young age? What, just I don't know. I don't know. But I've never seen anyone do that before. Like, he... he bound, I, and watching back, he was asleep. Like, he was out cold. He hit the floor, woke up, and jumped straight back up. And I seen him, like, looking at... Like, when the ref was counting at him, I was in the corner, and I could see the ref counting at him, and I could see him to his team, talking to his team, saying, ah, it's all good, it's good, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, he was calming his corner down. And, I'm and then I thought, like, don't just lunge straight back in, Luke, because he's got good timing with that hook. If I just lunge in a little bit with attack and he throws that hook, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn the fight upside down. So I needed to be smart. How was it with the only 3,000 fans there? Because that's another super fight, so... Do you, do, you, do you like it that's not as busy it's, or it, does it, it matter? Didn't, it didn't make the slightest bit of difference to me because every one of them 3,000 fans was cheering for him in Neil. It was all booing me. I, 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 I walked out the, to the ring with all of them booing me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for, for, you know, you say, how was it with 3,000 fans? I went from 20,000 fans in my last fight to then 3,000 fans, but then 3,000 fans was all booing me. 
<laughs> so it seemed like a lot yeah. of fans in there. This, was it a six or seven round for the body shocks? You've never been hurt with a body shock like that, have no, you? No, seven, seven round it was. Well, I watched the, I've watched the fight back once and seen it, and I've seen he threw that shot three times before that. And the one, it was nothing, like it landed and there was nothing, didn't affect me in the slightest. Um, and then obviously he was throwing it to the, to the head a lot. So as we exchanged and then he threw the shot, I just I covered up to the head and he just whipped it under my rib. And it didn't hurt me, bam, as it landed, it didn't hurt me. But then when I stepped back, I just couldn't grab my breath, just couldn't catch my breath. And I just, I just needed to go, to go down to catch my breath. Um, never been it like that. It, you know, it, as as a person that wants to win and that's used to winning, and as a winning mentality, you know, it's, it really hurt me mentally. I'm, and and it hurt my pride because I didn't want to go out like that. I just couldn't. It was just a shot that I just, you know. Couldn't do nothing about. Yeah, because a lot of people, I, a lot of people, don't speak about body shots enough. I don't think that I'm how, a big how dangerous myself. they are, and to people, and yeah. like if you've never had one, then you, you know yourself like, how fucking dangerous they can yeah. be, man. I and mean, when people do them, you think how that doesn't look so. But it's. I think, I've what? never like I've hit loads of people with body shots and they've gone down, and I've never just just thought oh, body bam. Like, you don't feel it as yourself because you're, you're the one that's landing it, but, yeah. After that fight, he was in the dressing room and stuff and he was asking, is this the best punches you've ever come out against? How were you feeling then? Because it was, it was not everything a bit raw for him to be well, asking those questions you, straight away. You're flying on emotions. You're, you know, sometimes you, you can speak a little bit out the box a little bit and, you know, adrenaline's going, emotions are flying, so... It's not the best time to, you know, to get caught on camera doing an interview. But, you know, he's obviously he caught me with a shot. No one's ever done that to me before. So, the better the better man won that night. He, he if he didn't land that shot, the fight could have been completely different. You know, I believe that I could have gone on and and really took him to pieces in the later rounds. But it's pointless me saying that because it's not what happened. P potential rematch. Listen, I'd I'd I love it. I love it. I think it was a fantastic fight. The fans loved it. Um, it was a great action fight between me and him. And I think if we went for round two, I think it'd be another fantastic um, action fight. But for me, wanted things different. You know, for me, wanting wanting it the other way around. Mm -hmm.